y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Why did you get on here today and do another Drugstore Does It Better, Volume 3? And these are just drugstore products that I'm enjoying a whole lot right now that are performing as good or better as my upper end. Some of them are old, some of them are new, and I'm just going to jump right into this. Okay, first, a foundation, the Healthy Skin by Physician Formula. This is a light to medium cover. I would say lighter, more than medium. I like to wear this over the CC or something matte and luminize it a little bit. It is just a beautiful skin-like finish. I love this. Okay, next, a powder that I have been on, then I was off, then I was on again. Saw it on Emily Noel one night, and she had used it under her eyes, and I was like, I'm getting that again. I got it, and I love it. It's what I have on today. Now, I'll tell y'all, I'm trying an upper end powder right now that this reminds me of so much. I've been testing out the Too Faced, the Too Faced Born This Way. This reminds me so much of this. Now, that may be wrong. You may disagree. They're both really blurring. I don't know. This just really reminds me of this. I'm not calling it a dude. It blurs. It feels light. This may be my top drugstore now. Okay, next. I cannot believe that this has not made it into a drugstore does it better, but it hasn't. The Milani blushes. I'm obsessed with them. I have on the Luminoso right now. I've had these forever. Maybe since before I started my channel. I'm sure y'all have seen these before. The Luminoso is like a peachy pink. It's what I have on today. On there. I use that every single day, y'all. Every day. And the Bella Bellini is a little bit pinker. Pink with some gold in it. These are as beautiful as anything upper end I have. These are beautiful. Okay, next, the Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Plum Rose. Y'all, this is so beautiful. If you've not found a bronzer that you like, try this. It is a dusty rose. That's it. It doesn't darken you. It gives you a lift. It's a blush all over your face to give you a sun-kissed look without looking sunburned. This is greatness. If you haven't tried this, it's an inexpensive risk for you. A subscriber told me about this, and I love it. Okay, next, the Super Stay. This has never made it into a drugstore before because I didn't like it because of the sponge. And then Ella, Ella's for Living told me, rip that sponge off. So I did. Now I put it on a baby beauty blender, and I love it. I like the light pink one, and I also like the one in Fair. The light pink brightening one, I love as a color corrector, as much as my MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose. If you didn't like the sponge, just rip that sponge right off. Just put it on a baby beauty blender. These are great. Okay, next. Big passion, y'all. The Koki Eyelash Primer. This has a kind of a stiffer wand. It's not plastic, but it's a little stiffer or shorter or something. And then it's really wet. Can you see how much is on that? I love the Koki Lash Primer so much. I ordered this off the Koki website. This Koki Primer is hard to find, but it's worth the chase. Okay, next. The Magic Lumi has never made it into a drugstore video before, and I love this, and I'll tell you why it's back on my radar. This is back on my radar because I recently got the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, and I thought, is that really that good, the Flawless Filter? And I do love this. I do love the Charlotte Tilbury, but I was getting out all my others and testing this out. <laughs> y'all, I'd forgotten how good this is. I'll put it on my hand for y'all. I put it on. It was like, what? That's it. It is so luminizing. So if you have something too matte, put that underneath it. That is a great drugstore luminizing primer. Okay, next, the Essence Make Me Brow. A subscriber recommended this. I think this is a dupe for the Gimme Brow, judging by the name. Now, the Gimme Brow, I have blonde in both. This one's a little blonder than this one, but it's not too dark. This is great. Just has a tiny little wand, and yeah, it just grooms my brows really nice. Okay, next, a product that's pretty new to me. A subscriber recommended it. I think this is for under the eyes. The Brighten Up Banana Powder. This is beautiful. I don't use this under my eyes. I only go white under my eyes. But let me show y'all how much this brightens. I like it all over my face. Yeah, it's just blurring and brightening. I keep this out on my desk. Okay, next, a brush that's been in several videos, but never a drugstore does it better, and it deserves a mention in a drugstore video, the e.l.f. 
pointed powder brush. It's just great. I have several of them. I love the point. You can use it for bronzer, powder, blush. It's just the perfect size. I pick that up probably every day. Okay, next, another brush. It's the Morphe M504. I dip this in the residue of powder, start at the eyebrow, come down, blends like nothing else. I have literally about five of them. And then an eyeshadow that is new to me and I have fallen madly in passion with it is a Milani Soft and Sultry. They say they have this at Walmart. I couldn't find it at mine. So I ordered this from the Milani website. I love it. This has definite Tartlet and Bloom vibes. This performs and wears as well as anything upper end I have. It's just pigmented. It wears well. This is as good as anything in my drawer. I love it. Okay, next, some lip products. The first one I got from a subscriber, and I let this is the perfect nude, y'all. This is a um a shine, so it's a little bit thinner. So nice. Yeah, it's just a great nude. This is, I love carrying this in my purse, going to run errands, just to throw on real quick. I love the baddest beige. Next, Nude Lust by Maybelline. I've had this one for a long time, but when I ran out of my Kim KW, I was looking for nudes. Y'all, this is so close. I'm going to put it on over what I already have on. Y'all, I love this. If you love the Kim KW, but don't want to splurge on it, try the Nude Lust. Okay, next, a L'Oreal in 910 pen at Smith Skincare sent this to me. Y'all, this is so close to my Natasha Denona Smoky Rose. I can't even tell you. The only reason I keep my Natasha Denona Smoky Rose and keep splurging on that is because the formulas are different. This is a shine, and that one's more of a cream. That. This is just such a perfect pinky nude. This is beautiful with Max Swirl or um, NYX Mauve. I'll tell y'all, I left all my lipsticks at home at a wedding, at an out-of-town wedding this summer. This was one of the ones I was looking for. I was looking for number 910 and I was looking for Nude Lust. These were the two I was looking for when I went to the drugstore. Okay, next, y'all, this is probably my favorite gloss out of upper end, high end, everything. The color and the formulation, this is Rimmel Blushing Fell Graves, and it is beautiful. I'm going to put it on over what I already have on. It is the perfect pinky nude, and it is a gloss that's not sticky. I love it. I don't know how they made a gloss that's not sticky, but they did it with this one. This is lovely. Okay, next, two Milani glosses. I have it in Almost Natural which is a pink. It's like a peachy pink. And then I have it in Moonlight. It's like an iridescent. These are beautiful. They're cooling, kind of like the Bexums, not quite as cold on your lips, but I love them. I use this one in Almost Natural all the time. It's pretty opaque, so you can see it. Yeah, this is beautiful. I love these Milani glosses. They are nice, and you get a lot of it. These are very nice. Okay, next, a lip product that I have had in another drugstore video, but I have to give y'all an update. This NYX Lip Oil. Penn sent this to me, too. Penn has been good to me. This NYX Lip Oil, I liked it, and I was using it during the day, but I put this over in my nightstand when I ran out of my Ulta Lip Oils. This has made my lips quit peeling. I love this at night, and it has a little bit of a tint to it. I don't care. I use it at night. I'm going to see if they have a clear one. This has worked better to soften my lips and help them stop peeling than my Carmex or my Ulta Lip Oils. I love this. I will definitely replace that. Okay, next, a couple of hair and skin items. The first one is an update. The Jergens Glow. I have had this in so many videos. Let me tell you why I have really fallen in love with this. I was using it in the shower wet, and it's fine. It gives you a light color. Let me tell you how to intensify this. Get out of the shower and dry off. This makes me as dark as my tanceuticals, or I'm imagining something like Saint Tropez, a real major, hard-hitting self-tanner. This Get, gave me the darkest tan. And I was talking about it over on Instagram, and one of my girls over there said, I was about to throw that out. You're right. So it didn't just work on me. It works on other people, too. I either just towel dry a little bit and put it on damp and then blot 
and I mean almost dry or I have put this on totally dry and I'll tell you it stays pretty damp it stays pretty tacky I was going to bed one night and I thought am I oily or am I moisturized so it stays with you if you do this on totally dry skin it's as easy as when you do it in the shower you don't make mistakes with it and then it's dark I love this I'm gonna be dark this winter <laughs> the end of the summer I finally start tanning my knees through the holes in my jeans will be real dark. Okay, next, the OGX Coconut Miracle Oil Dry Shampoo. This actually texturizes and makes it feel clean at the same time. I used it today because I'm on day three hair. I love this. The dirtier my hair gets, the more it's this one instead of the Living Proof because this actually cleans it too. I love this. Okay, next, I'm not going to talk about this long. It's been in 5 million videos. The Bamboo Fiberful Hairspray. This is my holy grail. This is pretty much the only thing I use daily. This is going to displace my suave, y'all. I can spray and spray and spray and then brush through it. It's like little fibers all over your hair, like a little spider web. And then you just brush it out and it's gone. I love that. And those are all of the current drugstore items that I am obsessed with right now. Y'all let me know down below some drugstore items you love. So I can pick those up and love them with you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.